Hello, lovely humans, Jen Foxbot here. In today's episode of STEM Bites, our question comes from the lovely, the very blue in color, not in feeling, electric elephant. All right, electric elephant, what question do you have for us today? Whoa, Jen Foxbot, I'm very curious to know what is electricity? Yeah, this is a very good question. Getting back to the basics, which is great because electricity is all around us. When we think of electricity, we might think about a lightning bolt or the fact that we probably need to charge our phones, always, constant presence. Or when we rub a balloon on our head and it makes our hair stand up on end. All of that is because of electricity. But just because we know that it's around us all the time doesn't mean that we totally get what it is. And so answering these types of questions are some of my favorite. And also electricity is pretty complicated. So like gravity, electricity is one of those fundamental forces. If we smush it, it's technically the same thing as magnetism. So when we talk about the fundamental force of electricity, usually we're using the term electromagnetism, which is a really fancy sounding word and I love it. And I hope that you like it too. Yay. So the simple answer for those of y'all who are like, it's a minute 42 in, get to the point. Electricity is made of electric charges. There are two different types, positive and negative. And what electricity is, is the force that those charges exert on the space around them. What does that actually mean though? Yes, surprisingly complicated. Okay, so we can think about it like gravity. Um, that's a reasonable analogy. Gravity is created by mass, basically. We have uh, two objects. We'll say um, this is happy Earth. I don't know why it's red. Maybe I should say happy Mars because it's red. <laughs> and then we have happy sun. And the sun is very big, so I'm just going to go like that because the sun is very big. Sun. And hopefully the sun is happy. But there is a gravitational force uh, that the sun exerts on Mars. And there's also a gravitational force that Mars exerts on the sun. Because the sun is so much bigger, the gravitational force keeps Mars locked into orbit around the sun. But Mars also pulls a little bit on the sun. and this force, this gravitational force, happens over a distance. And of course, I'm simplifying. Um, insert analogy, bowling ball on bed, it, gravity really deforms space-time, et cetera, et cetera. But for our purposes of understanding what electricity is, we can think about it as a force over a distance. Okay, cool? Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so now with charges, well, I should say with electricity or the electromagnetic force, what we're dealing with are positive and negative charges. So if we have our little positive charges over here and we have our little negative charges over here, these charges exert a force on each other. So the negative charge is attracted to the positive charge and the positive charge is attracted to the negative charge. Now, if we have another negative charge, they're like, boo, go away. Uh, how do I do this? So they repel each other. So they push each other apart, whereas these pull each other together. And same thing with the positive charge over here. These push each other apart. So my arrows might be a little confusing. <laughs> okay. So, but the point is, like charges repel, get away dissimilar charges attract. They're like, hey, I want to be friends because you're different and I can learn something from you, which is cool. Um, now, the way that we represent the strength of a particular charge is kind of fun. Um, so if we have our negative charge, we can use field lines that are radiating out um, and they are defined to point away from negative charges and towards positive charges. So if we have a negative charge, our field lines are going to point outwards. And they're 
proportional to the size or the strength, or the math term would be magnitude, of the charge. Basically, the stronger the charge, the more field lines it has. If we have a really strong charge, we'd have it lots. It looked like a cute little red sun. Um, and I'll pointing out, yes, arrows here and all, the, all over the things. But it's proportional, and so it, they kind of only really make sense in relationship to another charge. So like, let's say, just for easy purposes, um, I have another negative charge, and if I only have four lines on this charge, then that means that this charge is much, much stronger than this one. Okay? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So what is electricity? Well, there's two types of electricity. You have static electricity, where you have these charges just hanging out. So that would be like the balloon rubbing on your head, um, or when you zap your friend um, after sliding on the carpet in socks, and you're like, Psst. that's static electricity, which is basically the buildup of excess charge on one thing. And nature likes to be all balanced and all of that good stuff. <laughs> so if you have a lot of charge on one object, like your finger, and the other person has less charge, then the charge will travel from your finger to the other person via a zap. And that zap is literally the charges leaving your finger and moving over to the other person where there's less charge. A lightning bolt does the exact same thing. Ooh, let's draw a lightning bolt because I can, maybe. <laughs> okay, that's cute. Um, so a lightning bolt is a lot of charge in the atmosphere. Lots of charge, negative signs all over the place. Yeah, so much charge. Ah! And it gets all this pent up energy. And then at a certain point, it's like, enough! And what it does is it uh, wants to have equilibrium with its surrounding environment. So eventually, well, air doesn't conduct electricity very well, but if you get enough of this buildup of charge in the sky or in the atmosphere, then eventually air will conduct the electricity down to the ground or down onto an object. And it's really, really cool because, well, not cool if you get struck by lightning or if it murders a tree, but it's really cool if you can see um, the right timing of a lightning bolt image because what you will see is actually a little, well, I'll use blue for this one, is a little electric charge kind of stemming up from the object. And then the lightning bolt makes contact with that. So it's like zap, zap, bah, there we go. And so you get this like, um, because the charge is so great, it actually pulls, because the charge of the lightning bolt is so big, it's so, 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 so strong that it pulls the charges from nearby objects out of the object. And then the closest charges will make contact, and then that's how you get the lightning strike into the ground, where the charge travels from the atmosphere into the Earth. And then there it's all happy, because we can treat the Earth like a uh, infinite sink of charges, if you will. Um, okay, so that's static electricity. Basically, if you have an imbalance of charges, they want to um, be balanced. And so you will have charges moving from one place to the other. And that kind of blurs the lines with kinetic electricity or moving electricity, which is really probably what we're more familiar with beyond lightning, which is the energy that powers our electronic devices. So you have charges that are flowing through wires and generating energy um, that allow us to do things like turn on lights. So with a light bulb, you have electricity flowing through, well, in old school light bulbs, those are the easiest to describe. You have electricity flowing through wires and the collision of the charges in that wire cause heat and then the heat creates light. So cool. Tons of things we can do with moving charges. Um, I will leave you with one last bit of information, which is pretty fascinating. So when we're talking about electricity being a force at a distance, meaning these charges don't ever really bump into each other, um, they will 
uh, repel each other before they actually like directly collide. Um, and if I were to draw that, what it would look like is like this. Okay, so we have two negative charges. Um, there would be field lines between each other, but they would be repelling. Actually, they wouldn't look like that. So they'd be like, they'd kind of be like this. Um, so they'd be repelling each other going away. And then here they'd be going outwards straight. Pretend those lines are straight. Um, but basically they're not going to ever touch because the electric field between them, the force of the electric field is repelling them apart. And so when we talk about moving electricity, it's not that the charges are bumping into each other and that the, when we flip on a light, the reason why the light turns on is not because the charges from the light switch reach the light. It's because the charges from the light switch send a signal down the line using this force at a distance to tell the charges in the light to move. What? Wild, right? Okay, so in other words, we flip the light switch. The charges in the light switch start moving, but they actually move pretty slow. But what moves super fast at the speed of light is the electric field or the information that carries the fact that the light switch charges are moving. And that tells the light switch, sorry, that tells the light bulb charges to move and to do some work through the light. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Um, I get really excited and there's so much to talk about with this seemingly simple question. We're at 12 minutes in and I haven't even scratched the surface. Um, so yeah, uh, happy to field more questions. Hey, I made a, I made a, made a field joke. Happy to field more questions about electricity. We did talk about voltage. So if you haven't seen that one, that's another, that's a really good one to go watch after this one. Um, but yeah, I'm sure electric elephant da, 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 and I would be happy to, to take more questions about electricity or electronics in general. All right, my friend, thank you for coming with me on this journey through a wild random lecture about electricity. Um, I'm so happy I get to share these with you. I love this stuff. All right. I'll see you next time.